This exclusive footage was sent to us just moments ago by a neighbor who responded to a woman in distress only to find her dead moments later. This is a series known to the police as the Box Cutter Killings. Go to sleep. <laughs> okay, sweetheart, mommy's got work to do. Let's run. After each session, I take a shower. I scrub vigorously. My tub becomes filthy with my sweat and my shame. I wish I could stay here, enshrouded in the thick steam. Hey. Have I told you how beautiful you are? Yeah, every chance you get. This place is looking like a ghost town. I know, right? You know it's bad when people can't pay their rent. Did you make that? Yeah, I did. Did you learn a lot of cool stuff from your dad, huh? I learned, Ben. I learned a lot of cool stuff from my dad. Right, I forgot. I'm sorry. What the hell is that? Yeah, oh, that thing. You must have set it off. Do you like it? One of my clients got it for me. No. Mm -hmm. That's not very surprising, Ben. You don't like anything I got. That's not true at all. Ow! <laughs> Ow! You want to see the baby? I've seen your video before, but those are crib. Yeah, I remember. We had some good times, didn't we? Hey, the new uh, David Finch movie's coming on Friday. I can. I have her. Why don't you take one of your other friends? Oh, well, I can buy an explain your new server, didn't I? Yes. That is why I called you. It's like a carnival in here. What? No! What? St da -da -da -da. Don't mess with it! I'm gonna just break! Right. Right. Hey, Ben. No. Don't. Who needs a bathroom? Yeah, that's better. So I send tons of spam linking to this homepage. It's the first thing they see when they log on. Click this link right here, and we got them by the balls. How? Well, it brings them to a preloader screen that says that they're logging on. But what it's really doing is downloading the secret program. Then our service provider charges absorbent fees. But when did they find There's out? There's nothing to worry about. This transaction's international, so they can't charge us with shit. It's, it's called a, a porn dialer. It's a very popular scam. Uh-huh. How do you know? Because I have a lot of free time. Now, if a certain someone would go back out with me, I could give this all up. You remember the hot tub? Yeah, I do. How could I forget? Are you gonna get that? <sighs> Ugh, no. 
Some calls are meant to be answered. Well, I guess that's not one of them. So what do you think? I don't want to be a webcam girl. It just feels wrong. I support you completely. <clears throat> Are you okay? <clears throat> yeah, just getting off a mild cough. It's just a job. People do things that are much worse to pay the mortgage. So you're the sexy med student who gets paid to take her clothes off. What's wrong with that? Oh, thanks, but I haven't even taken the MCAT yet. How about the Ferris wheel? You remember that? The fair. Being high above that cityscape for that long was an incredible feeling. I was decompressed, weightless. I ultimately realized that I didn't have to be stranded on some third-rate carnival ride to feel that way. I only had to be with you. So random. It was nice seeing you again. Yeah. Yeah, you too. Bye. Oh, Ben. You still owe me for January. Hi. Thank you so much for coming. I know it's short notice. It's nothing, man. Do you want to come in? Oh, thank you. Hey, excuse the mess. Um, I jiggle the handle because it gets stuck sometimes, but that didn't really work. Um, but then I noticed that there's no water in it. Hello? Hi, can you go fix, please? Thank you. It's gonna be a problem. I'm sorry, what? What'd you say? can fix this. Good. Hey, princess. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? No. I don't think I have. Are you some kind of actress or a performer? I'm an anesthesiologist. Must have been somebody else. Yeah, whatever you say. I'm wearing my lucky outfit tonight. I always make the most when I wear it. You look sexy. And you were worth their last dollar, so take it. <sighs> My clients always use their free hand to send me pleasantries. <sighs> Jerk off. Whatever. What? You using both hands now? Hey, you know who this is and you know what to do. Unless this is your first time, then I feel sorry for you. Give me a call back. Bye. Fucking force Ben, hey, what's up? Um, I was online with some guy the other day and 
he said he was gonna kill me. I know that sounds ridiculous, but you know it's not funny. So, the guy was using um the screen name Anonymous One. So I need you to look into that, please. Um, and call me back. It's very important. Thank you. Bye. Hello, hello, you sexy bitch. Hey, last time you were here, did you borrow my electric shaver? Oh. No, I haven't. I just can't find the cord, though. You should come over. Yeah, tonight. Who? Bring them. That's cool. We'll have girls' night. <laughs> <laughs> the other day, I put whipped cream on my nipples and then licked it off for the finale. <gasps> nice. But I can't do it anymore. Why not? Girl, too many calories. This sister needs to lose some weight. <laughs> I've been doing double sets daily. It's great. Saves so much time and I've making so much money. Yeah, I did a triple set last week. I don't think I'll do it again though. It's kind of hard to keep things interesting for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, that's enough time for a smoke or a poke. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think like 30,000. I know it's low, but I can still take care of my kid on my own, so I'm good. That's fine. Um, so have you guys ever used like bananas before? Like I have. <laughs> oh, oh. Wow. I could learn a lot from these girls. Are you still dating David? Well, we broke up last month, but I think we're gonna get back together. Mm. For real, or you think she's still in the hunt? No, no, I think I'm really gonna try to make it work. I mean, there are a few things that really bother me about him. Like what? He is so messy. Oh, <laughs> Seriously, my God. every guy's like, okay. no, <laughs> no, you don't understand. He left dirty pants on the stove. Oh my Who God! Who does that? Kurt does that to me. What? I don't. I don't that get is so it. random. Um, just, be thankful it wasn't his boxers, okay? Oh. Mike did that to me once. Or was it Mitch? <laughs> or Mark? How many oh, guy friends do you have? Um. The ratio is like three guys to one girl. <laughs> well, at least an equal opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> you do know that all of these guys are friends with you just because they want to have sex with you, right? Yes, that is. Well, the army has reserves. Why can't I? <laughs> <laughs> Chastity, you are such a slut! Oh my gosh. Yeah, and this is your intervention. <laughs> <laughs> Jealous? <laughs> no, no, no. Mike was someone that got Charlie horses a lot. I couldn't stand it. Oof. What, like leg cramps? That's pretty common. I had one just the other day. It's the worst. No, uh -huh. we were mid missionary. Oh, oh no! Oh, snap. You didn't get the sex cramp. Oh, yeah. Oh, at yeah. the worst time too. Oh, oh, really? Like not even at the end? Seriously? Oh, so sorry. Oh, that's <laughs> okay, you guys, you guys, you guys. Enough about the cramps. Back to the pants. Rewind. I mean, is this something like you know should like really? Up, like talk to him about or if it really bothers you yeah every girl gets pissed off because every guy does it and we're the ones that have to clean it up. right yeah. in every relationship you got to figure out what you're gonna let slide and what you're not you know so choose what matters most and hold your ground yes right on <laughs> no seriously like the important things increase in weight over time yeah they do don't they it's like a ballast oh, a ballast oh. yeah a ballast who Really? Nobody? <laughs> the the, the no. weight that like steadies a boat. Oh, totally use I often use think of that. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, like when I had a child, everything changed. Everything. Now fuck it. I mean, if a man can't handle the ballast, you gotta throw his ass overboard. Hey mama. So I do have a daughter. I'd almost forgotten what she sounded like. I know, I'm sorry, I got your message. I'm studying. So how's that going? It's fine. I'm doing um, microbiology 1048. Well, that sounds like a real hoot. Oh, it is. Well, I'm very proud of you, and your father would be too. But you can't stay in college forever. I know. So how is everything? It's fine. Fun. Master of many words. Well, that's good. Did I tell you I started using an online dating service? No. Mama, please don't do that. There's weirdos online. Trust me on that. 
Well, it's going great so far. I've been talking to this one man. He's a claims adjuster. He's he's a great man, but he keeps asking for a more recent picture of me. Do you see what I mean? Oh, what's wrong with being a claims adjuster? <sighs> no, go on. I forgot to tell you that my printer's on the fritz again. It, your father used to always help me with it, so the next time you come over, could you- Mama, I've told you how to do that a hundred times. Let me write this down. Oh and by the way, Jess, uh, the other day this strange man called here. Well, at first I thought he was from the dating site, but, well, found out he wasn't. And he was scaring me. And he had a raspy voice, and, well, you know, I kind of thought that he What'd was- What'd he say? Well, he was asking about personal things, like if I was planning on visiting you anytime soon and if you had a boyfriend, but don't worry, don't worry. I didn't tell him anything. I hung up rather quickly. Well, that's just great. You're not in any trouble, are you? No. Well, this doesn't have anything to do with that new job of yours, does it? No, I mean, it's fine. Then why can't you even tell me what you're doing? Because it doesn't matter. It's just about making money right now. Do you want me to send you some money? No, I'm fine. I don't need help. Well, it, I only want what's best for you. I'm okay. I'll gladly help you out. No, if Dad was alive, he would know that I'm fine right oh, now. Oh, don't say that. Uh, sweetie, you need to find a decent man and get your life back together. <sighs> Thank you for your support, Mother. I love you, too. Well, I do love you, and that's why I'm saying this. Do it all while you're young. Because let me tell you that aging will set in before you know it, and then everything in your life is going to go downhill, including those perky breasts of yours. And with your education, you need to be making at least $40,000 a year. Mama, I'm getting my master's here. It's not like I'm struggling. Well, all I'm saying is that, what is it, around half of the people end up going into a different field than what they went to college for. Well, well I... Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm only saying it's something you should think about. Fine. No, well... I... What? Oh, honey. Look, have you used that gift card I gave you for Christmas? No. Oh, not yet. But, you know, I'm waiting to use that on the decent man I'm going to find, like you said. Hello? Are you there? Well, I hope the card doesn't expire. Hey, did you get my message? I'm doing well, thanks for asking. Sorry. Hello, Ben, how are you? I've been keeping busy. What are you up to? No, I'm just renewing my business license. Guess you gotta spend money to make money. Um, yeah, so what you found out about the guy? Do you have any idea who it could be? Uh, I don't know. I was absolutely hoping he would find that well, out. Well, here's the thing. Um, normally I could find that out for you. <sighs> but I hate to admit it, he outsmarted me. He hacked the system. The guy's really good. So there's absolutely no way we know who did this. If you feel scared, I could always come over and spend the night. No. Thank you, but I'm fine. I had to ask. Are you going to call the police? You look beautiful this evening. No, we don't. But not that you need to gain weight, that's, that's not what I meant. I, I like small girls. Small, healthy girls. Like you. 
Have I left you speechless? Or is it breathless? Oh, I, I see what's wrong here. Let me help. There you go, sweetie. Mm, that's right. Well, no chance for sleep now. God, sleepless nights, long weekends. Another girl found dead today. This horrific- I guess I'm lucky to have a job with such flexible hours. At this point, a nine to five would be the death of me. Now normally I don't drink. But nothing about today was normal. One thing's for sure. I've got a lot to do tomorrow. Hello. It's time to wake up. I fear a fox, maybe. Who is this? Someone who enjoys watching you. Dude, you're gonna have to be more specific than that. I'm pretty popular in that regard. My, what a pretty voice you have. Oh, I'm hanging up. That would be a mistake. Why? I'd ask what you're wearing, but I can see for myself. Bullshit.
before they'd even be on their way. Besides, you wouldn't want to leave your baby motherless, would you? Hello. You still with me? Yes. Look, man, please don't hurt my kid, okay? Do you have any questions before we begin? I do. Yeah, just one. Why are you doing this to me? Who are you? That was two questions. I picked you because you made yourself available. You're not exactly an introvert. As for why I'm doing this, I hope you learn that on your own. Now, let's make some calls. What if he doesn't answer? Then we'll go back to him. But I have a feeling he'll take your call. Hello? Told ya. Brandon, it's Jessica from Shermer High. Yes, of course. I thought I'd never hear from you again. I yeah, um... I was just looking through my yearbook and thought I'd give you a call so we could discuss our time together. That's right. You're only a freshman then, right? Uh-huh, you were a senior. What are you doing with yourself these days? Uh, uh, I'm in the service industry. Service with a smile. And you? I'm a C++ computer programmer. It's exciting. Great. You could have had nerd babies. Now cut to the chase. <clears throat> Brendan, what do you remember about when we went out? I think I remember we would get ice cream a lot and then I'd drop you off at the movies and things like that. Uh, and then we would go to the mall, what would happen then? Right. You had to leave early, though, to meet with your study partner at his place. Mm -hmm. What did those dates have in common? Mm, you were there. I was happy. Is that it? No. Jesus. Um, look, I was really young. I was naive. I'm a different person now. Yeah, now you're old and crafty. Look, Brendan. I really enjoyed spending time with you. I just liked your car better. Well, so did I. Wait, are you saying you used me for my car? Yeah, everybody did. What do you want me to do, walk everywhere? I can't believe this. Uh, and my study partner, it was Trevor. It was the guy that I liked. I'm hanging up. The beer. I used you for beer, also. I don't drink. Hello? <laughs> Okay, put the phone back in the charger. Happy? Good. Now, answer however you'd like, but be honest. Do you feel sorry for him? Not really. He should have known what I was doing. I couldn't help but notice what he said. Even though he was your chauffeur, he was happy. I guess. I bet you're a back archer, aren't you? What is that? A back archer. You know, a girl who often does that classic move when she messes with her hair because it causes her boobs to stick out. <laughs> I've never done that. Denial is very common among back archers. Whatever. I hope you won't have to call off from work because of all this. Oh, right. You work out of the home. A self-made entrepreneur. And all you have to do is take your clothes off. The girl nation should be impressed. I do that stuff because I have to, okay? Nobody's forcing you to do any... Well, besides this. Look, guy... Okay? I have a baby that I have to take care of on my own. I'm in college. It's called child support for a reason. What do you think would happen if your mommy saw your webcam site? Don't you fucking dare. <gasps> Maybe we should call her up right now. I have to say, the homepage is well crafted. Doesn't leave much for the imagination, though. So, Mommy doesn't know 
know you're a stripper. I'm not a stripper, okay? I am a cam girl. A live fucking entertainer. Oh, please. I'm not a killer. I'm a population adjudicator. All the euphemisms you hide behind can't change the truth. Whatever. At least I don't strip in a club. And you know who actually doesn't mind me doing what I do? My boyfriend. Boyfriend. The one that's gonna be home any minute now. Yeah, yeah, he just works third shift at a door factory. I hope you have on your poker face with a bluff like that. It's the truth. He could kick your ass. Then why did you say you raised the baby on your own? Because. Don't worry about it. I knew you were lying to begin with. I've been watching your house for months. I didn't just happen to pick today. I waited until now because your neighbors upstairs moved out and the ones next to you are at work. Did you honestly think I was that stupid? Yeah. So, you're Trouble 18. In the flesh. I could use a little trouble. Oh, if you want trouble, dude, you're get it. I have money, okay? I have, I have jewelry. I have things. You can come in here, you can take whatever you want and leave. Don't you think if I wanted any of that crap, I would have taken it by now? I've done this before. The newspapers called me the box cutter killer. I read about that. Good. Now, what do you remember about the crime scene? The robber didn't take anything from the girl's house. That's right. It wasn't a robbery. I don't want your money. All I want is your full cooperation for one little day of your privileged life. What does the caller ID say? I don't know. Um, I think it's some guy that I met at a coffee shop. I'm not going to. Oh. We were about to call our next contestant, but let's talk about this little gem first. You're a tease. It's your profession and your hobby. Oh, I'm not a tease. Then why not take his call? Because I don't want to. Yet you gave him your number. What would you say if you answered by mistake? I would say help crazy man is holding me hostage in my house with a gun! How many men have you given your number to? I don't know. Lots. Hundreds, probably. Now, how many of them have had their calls answered? Consistently? Ten, twelve, maybe? That's a ratio of one in ten. And you can't admit you're a tease. At least I'm not a cheerleader. They're the biggest teases of all. You have a point there. But you're still not off the hook on that technicality. Why do you do that? Why do I do what? I can't give my number out to people I don't intend to call? Or answer their calls? I'm waiting. Wait, I don't know. I don't know. It's for the same reason you do anything. The attention. And unanswered calls are the best kind, aren't they? It's a one-way street leading straight to you. I bet when you get that first call you wonder, will he leave a message? If so, what will he say? How many more times will he call before he gives up? Something like that. How am I doing? Oh no! The silent treatment! Don't do me any favors, sister woman. All those unanswered calls, the false hopes, they have to add up to something. You and the rest are playing games with us. Well, now I'm playing a game with you. A grand little payback for my friends in the Heartbreak Club. How do you like it? How do you like it? I don't, okay? I feel 
used. I feel vulnerable. I feel horrible. Does that satisfy you? Not even close. Is Trevor there? No. <laughs> Daddy, the phone is for you. Yes? Trevor. Jessica? Is that you? Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, not you too. The whole pre-midlife retrospective face. Susie called me last month. Now you. Sorry my daughter answered. That must have been strange. I'm married now. Are you hitched up? Yes. Yes, I am. And, and we have a baby girl. White lies have many shades. Some turn black. That's right. I wish you called earlier. Yeah, me too. We have a lot of catching up to do. Just so busy now. Oh, I'm an MD. I have a private practice. Okay, crazy guy. You can shoot me now. Did you hear that Scotty was arrested? That's enough chit-chat. Yes, I did hear. How did you meet your wife? College. I'm such a lucky man. Well, I bet she's lucky to have you, too. Enough. Yeah, I spoil her. What does your husband do? He is into gun sales. You know, but I just keep telling him only weak men carry guns. The next one won't be a warning shot. You're probably right. Um, you know, Trevor, I was just calling because, um, I, I feel bad about the way I treated you when we went out, you know? That was eight years ago. I honestly don't remember much of high school. Probably wants to forget it. Wonder why. Well, yeah, you know, of course, um, but you must remember prom, right? Sure, I still have our picture somewhere. And Peter, you know, he came with Claire. And at the end of the night, you left me for Peter. Is that what you're getting at? Yes. Yes. Oh my God, you know, you must still be so mad. A little bit, at the time. If you want to be with Peter, then that's your choice. I knew it had nothing to do with me. Maybe it was for the better. I like this guy. But Peter was your best friend. Not up to that. Did you know right after prom I spent the night with Claire? We spent most of the summer together. Isn't life strange? Yes, it is. Um, gosh, you know, I just... It was really good catching up with you, but I, I'm, like, so busy, so I'm gonna have to let you go. Oh, you don't want to hear any more about his wifey? Any time. Okay, bye. Yesterday, I read about this study from the National Cancer Institute. It found out that the more often a man has an orgasm, the less likely he'll get prostate cancer. It said, uh, what was it? Men who came 21 times or more a month had a 33% lower risk of prostate cancer. So what? Is that why you chose your line of work? Trying to rid the world of prostate cancer one dance at a You. <laughs> I guess I deserve that. I am holding you hostage and all. I bet you regret standing up Trevor at the prom. Yes, I do. It seems, given his outlook, that he wouldn't even be the same person if he stayed with you all these years. No. No, I guess that makes sense. So, if you stayed with him, you might not think as highly of him as you do now. <clears throat> You're probably right. I don't really know why I'm talking to you about this, though. So. Because, Jesse, right now I'm the only one that you have to talk to. Um. 
My baby needs to eat something. Please. You have to stay on the line with me, though. Oh, well, I just wouldn't have it any other way. Come on, please. Come on. Good girl. I don't think it's very fair that you seem to know everything about me. I don't know anything about you. Why would I want to tell you anything about me? I don't know. You said yourself that you got to always have somebody to talk to. Yeah? There's got to be something that you can tell me about yourself. Do you have a name? Something that I can call you? Brick. Brick, what is that? German? No, it just sounds cool. Okay, the baby's fed. Now it's your turn. If you need something to eat or drink, get it now. Yeah, there's a Chinese restaurant down the street. I've been dying to try it. Thanks, Brick. I know you really didn't have to do any of this. I know. Hope you don't mind eating alone. I forgot my bag lunch. It's all right. I think pizza's better cold anyway. I don't. I can't even get a decent pie around here. Angelo's in New York. That was pizza. Um... When was the last time you were there? Long ago, when I was little. Tell me a story, Brick. About when you were little. Don't have any stories, sister woman. God, why do you call me that? It's a character from Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Did you ever see the play? Or the movie? No. You should see it. Probably the best performance of Paul Newman's career. You remind me of the character, Sister Woman. Why was she pretty? Oh, yes. And everybody loved her. You really should see the movie. I bet your childhood sucked. Is that why you're doing this? All right, Sister Woman. You want a story? Here you go. I grew up in a worn-down building with my parents and my younger brother. My brother and I liked to swim. When we went to the pool, I started to notice every week he had fresh bruises on his arm, his thigh, wherever. Go on. And Mick was a pale bastard. No way he could hide those bruises. Ow! Ow, 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 What happened? I cut my foot on the broken glass. Can you stand? I'm trying. 911, please state the nature please. of your emergency. I'm bleeding, help me. There's a stand man. Stand up now, we're coming in. There's a man holding me hostage. There, there's Damn. a man holding you hostage? Well, where are you in at? In my house. Stay on the line, we're trying to find your stand location. Up. It's off. Are you all right? Yeah, I'll live. Hopefully. Tricky move, Jessica. Pull it again and see what happens. I thought you wanted to hear a story, Jessica. Mm. Well, now you're going to hear the end of my story. My younger brother, Mick, had these bruises, as I was saying, and I knew it would only get worse. The old man would hit me when my brother was a baby. That's what he did when he was on the bottle. Couldn't you have done something? Late one Sunday night, Mick dumped all of my dad's booze down the bathtub. I mean, a cabinet full of bottles in the tub. When the old man caught my brother doing this, 
he pushed him right into the tub. He was scratched up pretty bad. When Mom saw him like that, we decided to run for it. We were on that old fire escape, and something gave way. What do you mean? Mom and I made it down all right. My brother didn't. Is that it? Your brother died? So that's why you're doing all of this? No, you've got me all wrong, Jesse. I was just finishing my little story for you. You want to know why I'm doing this today? I can sum it up with one word. Mendacity. What is mendacity? The system of liars and lying. At least men are honest enough to lie with their words, but women do it with their whole body, every fiber of their being. It's in the X chromosome, their DNA. So you were lied to, Brick. Boo-hoo. That doesn't warrant this! Do you think it's right to manipulate people to get what you want? No. Then why do you do it? Because I can! Exactly. I can do this, but I couldn't use sex the way you do. No, I had to employ good, old-fashioned violence. All is fair in love and war. Gotcha. I get you now, Brick. This is how you get your rocks off, isn't it? Jesus. You perverts are all the same. I deal with you day in and day out. There's absolutely no limit to the fetishes you freaks have. It's really sick. Of course we're horny. Which is a good thing or you'd be out of a job. What's sick is the way women exploit it. Penis pays, right? Anniversary gifts, Valentine's Day. It's Christmas all year round with you How about marriage? Gosh, I'm sorry, Brick. You're just not my type. Contract. First definition. An agreement between two or more people, which is written and enforceable by law. Second definition. To get or incur a disease. When you strip away all the tradition and archetypes beaten into a woman's psyche since day one, marriage is a contract pertaining not to love or faithfulness, but property. Then don't give us anything. Then I'd end up with my right hand every night, wouldn't I? How do they sell mattresses these days? Probably at gunpoint. They show a beautiful woman laying on it in a slip. Sex sells. We are bombarded by it. It's bad enough we're led on by women, but now it's in every magazine, commercial, movie trailer, and banner ad. You're right. Beauty is only skin deep. Mm. That is a dead expression these days. You said it. Was well, that it, Professor? Is that the lesson for the day? Are we done now? Oh, we're only halfway there. What about all your other boyfriends? I don't have any other boyfriends to call. Sorry. Oh, but yes, you do. And if you're about to say you lost their numbers, I'll willingly provide them for you. How about you do me a favor first? What kind of favor? I have to take a piss. Do you need me to lift the toilet seat for you? Look, I'm not going to let you listen to me, okay? That's a whole different type of perversion. I can't go with you listening to me. Please! Brick, I've had to go for like 30 minutes. Come on. Please! The cordless stays at the window. Play some music so I can tell the line is still active. If you're not done in five minutes, I'm coming up to help you flush. Understood. Okay, keep it together, Jesse. Your life is in danger. God, all I want to do is take a shower. 
My friend the killer has that advantage over me. He probably got up this morning and showered, washed his hair, brushed his teeth, ate a bowl of cereal in his tidy whities then got ready to make my life a living hell. Well, I'm not like the other girls. And I will not give up without a fight. I'm back. That was real cute, Jesse. I didn't know you listened to Chopin. <clears throat> well, there's a lot you don't know about me. What do you... What do you listen to? What kind of music do I like? Everything. Except country. And I refuse to listen to it because I'm afraid I might like it. What are you covered in tattoos or something like that? Hmm? Tattoos? No. I believe if you weren't born with it, it doesn't belong on your body. I don't need to ask if you're covered in tattoos or something like that. I know every inch of your body. Hmm. <sighs> Look, Brick, you're not going to get away with this, okay? Because all it takes is one mistake, one very loose end. You poor thing. You don't know what you're dealing with. I don't leave loose ends. Check your email. <laughs> what? What? Check your email. <sighs> okay. have a balls. Shut the hell up. What does that even mean? Random. Nothing is random. Alright, let's call our next victim. I mean, boyfriend. No. I'm sorry. I didn't catch that. Could you repeat it? I'm not playing any more of your fucking games. You don't make up the rules around here, sissy. I do. Well then, I'm not doing for you until you let me call my mother so I know she's all right. Why would she? Because I know that it's been you that was calling and asking questions about me. This has nothing to do with her. Oh my baby. You're not listening to me. You're not listening to me. Your death threats don't mean shit if I have nothing to live for. Don't try anything. Because I'll know. Just like I knew when you called the cops. Did you know you can route a phone signal all over the country? <laughs> it will take them hours to sort it out. I think you underestimate me. It's nice to know I still have a daughter. It's nice to know I still have you. How are you? Fine. Jesse, let me tell you the latest about the guy that I met no. on. No. I mean, um. You have to tell me when I come fix your printer, remember? Oh, that's, that's right. Mom, I'm gonna get a new job. Oh, Jesse, about that strange man that called and was asking all those questions about you. He's just a loser. He has no life. Oh, that hurts. Well, he told me what you're doing, and I didn't believe it until I saw it with my own eyes.
I'm sorry, Mama. I just... That's okay, baby. That's not you. I know it's not you. <laughs> I know. sound really very well. Are, you're not in any trouble, are you? No. I'm fine. We all go through a difficult patch. Like, before I met your father, I don't know what I would have done without him. Mama! What? Oh, I know, I know. I love you. Oh, I love you too, baby. I'm glad you called, but I better let you go. I'm going to use that, um, gift card that you gave me. I'll use it tomorrow. Oh, that is so good. I wouldn't want it to go to waste. Me neither. Bye-bye, baby. Bye. I think we can move on now, if you're satisfied. No, I am not even close! Please don't answer. Please don't. Hi, Troy. Are you busy? Not really. I'm just cleaning up around here. <laughs> Thought I'd never hear from you again. Why would you say that? Because you never answer my calls. <laughs> Join the club. Well, sorry. I'm very busy with stuff. <laughs> so, how's the car? Fine. Actually, actually, I was calling about that. Oh, yeah, I would. I'd leave the manual laying around here somewhere. Look, man, I can tell that you're upset about it, okay? Very perceptive. Can I just start from the beginning? I came home early, remember? My class was canceled. That's when I saw you so, and Destiny. Can I play a little game? Yeah. Okay, it's called. <laughs> I'll give you one hint. <laughs> Oh, calm down. Really? My friend, when I met- <laughs> She came on to me? Whoa, 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 relax. She came on to me. She came on to me. I'm just saying, well, I think you set me up. Do like, you don't even try to blame this on me. The car was in yeah, both of our names. That was your decision. Yeah, yeah, one that I made as a happy boyfriend. God, was I wrong. You're gonna tell him, right? I'm getting to that. Getting to what? Dude. At that time, Destiny and I were together. You unbelievable Well, thanks, sweetie. Damn it! That was my mother! Lipstick lesbian, my ass. That was just another card in your deck. Jesus, you're so off about me. When I met Destiny, I was just curious. Tell me more. No! God. Wouldn't be much to tell anyway. You know what I've observed? No. You have a lot of dirty laundry. You're surrounded by it. It's repulsive. You gonna sit here and tell me you've never hurt anybody before? At least I put them out of their misery. I really don't think that you need to be judging me right now on my morals. You know when certain animals, like an octopus, are provoked, they instinctively trigger a survival response? Yes, I do. Think of what I'm doing as a violent defense mechanism from a wounded animal. Let me ask you, we do all we can to keep 
up our livelihood, our standard of living. You've got the baby, car payments, the mortgage. I guess, so what? That's why you control people. Jeez, you're so wrong about what me. What are you talking about? You sent your girlfriend out to entice your sex-starved boyfriend so you could get his car. You take money from men for just prancing around in your bedroom. It seems the only thing you're not in control of around here is your grip on reality. People use people, okay? It happens every day. Day in and day out, people use people. Everybody does it. It's... What about attractive men, huh? That use ugly women to get what they want. I don't blame guys for lowering their standards. It's better than being single. If the girl knows she's lucky to have you, she'll go out of her way to keep you. You're not gonna kill me, are you? Nobody knows the answer to that one. Not even me. How are you gonna come at me with some shit like that? You don't know. When you're sitting here telling me that you control your actions? That's the only thing we really have control of. But... Things change. Oh, they certainly do. You were aiming for me earlier, weren't you? But you missed. Yeah. How about I make a run for it now, huh? There's something I forgot to tell you about me. Oh! I hate origami. Now don't think that will go unpunished. Stop! Do not leave that room. <laughs> can't do this in front of her. Sure you can. Dance as if your life depended on it. You can't put a price Thanks. on that. I'm very glad that you liked it. Can you let me go now? Well, let me see. That was all of your boyfriends, right? Yes. You're not lying to me, are you? You know how I feel about mendacity. I think there's one more. Do a little searching in that pretty little head of yours. Well, I'd much rather be in bed holding you, but you pushed me away for no good reason. So. What are you gonna do? Get mad? Hit me or something? What? Why are you mad?
you want something to drink? No. Well, here we are. The point of no return. The final curtain. Last call. Then I decided not to call this one. Hmm. Let me refer back to the rules. Oh, that's right. You die. Let's recap. The glorious exploits of Jessica with a G. And why is it spelled with a G? G. Nobody cares. It's better than brick. As a young learner permit wielding freshman, you solicited Brendan so he could get you and your friends beer. In addition, he drove you wherever you wanted, including into the arms of our second lucky suitor, Trevor. You left him at the prom for a one-night stand. And why do they call it that anyway? Most of the time isn't spent standing but laying on your back. Most likely in your case. It should be called a one-night lay. Don't you think? We learned that your leaving Trevor for his best friend was the best thing you could have done for him. Because that helped shape him into the man he is now. Which is, and correct me if I'm wrong here, everything you could want in a man. I'm sure his trophy wife thanks you. Yeah, you're probably right. And then there's Troy. You set him up with the help of your female lover so you could run off with his wheels. So, you did all of that. How do you plead to these charges? This whole fucking court's out of order. Guilty as sin. And a baby girl to pass the reins to. Yeah, I did do that, didn't I? But it is nothing compared to what I'm gonna do when I find you, you sick mother- to find some asshole from New York who has a dead brother named Mick. Now can it? <laughs> you don't tell me New York, are you? I never had a brother. Just How's it going? Were you asleep? last night. So, yeah, any more uh, death threats? Don't even think about it. No. Um, just like I it. Keeps calling my mother. That's it. It's, it's fine. Just forget it. Look, um, that message you left really scared me. Um, the thought of losing you, I mean. I called you because I need to talk to you. About what? About us. About what happened to us. I wouldn't say anything happened to us, Jess. You're saying us is what happened, Ben? Enough semantics. So, do you want me to ask the unanswered question? Probably going to anyway. Why were you trying to trick me into getting you pregnant, Jess? Guess he beat you to it. I don't know how many times I have to tell you that that was an accident. Oh, right. It was an accident, of course. It was an accident that you pushed me away in bed for weeks. Um... It was an accident that I wasn't good enough for you and that our sex just stopped because you wanted to. Except that one night when you decided to drop your panties and jump on me, right? Yeah. There it is. 
you didn't want it, Ben, you could have stopped me. Not after a month of no sex. Thanks. And why did you happen to break up with me right after you found out you were pregnant anyways? Are you serious? Ben, you said you didn't want it. I, perhaps you don't remember about that night, but I will never forget it. God, it was raining so hard. Outside. No amount of rain could wash away what you said to me. If I had this baby, this beautiful baby, it would be without you. Do you have any idea what that feels like? Huh? Yeah, I do. All I wanted was for you and I to bring a life into this world. No. All you wanted was to think about yourself in that given moment. You found a sneaky way to get pregnant. It just happened. No, nothing just happens, okay? Avalanches just happened, landslides just happened. You knew what you were doing. If I would have asked you, you would have said no, right? Yeah, because the timing was wrong. We didn't have our own lives together, let alone bringing a, a, a different person into the world. You were thinking about yourself and only yourself, just like you have when this relationship was at its best. You knew that I'd have to be the one to support the kid, and I'm working two jobs to pay for child support now. So what are you tell me, Ben? You just tell me that I did this all on purpose. Is that what you believe? Yeah, maybe you did. Yes, that's what he's saying. Aren't you listening? She was the ballast, Ben. Me getting pregnant was the ballast. The ballast? talking about it. That's just it, Ben. You don't know. Don't pull that you don't know shit. Tell him the rest. Tell him you were talking about him behind his back, flirting with his friends, with the only intention of making him jealous. Just tell me straight up why you had to get pregnant. Um... Because the time was right? What was that? What? Oh my god. What's going on? Ben. You're not done. That will count as a hang -up. No! Ben, I need you. Uh, okay, I'm going over. Hello? Sorry, sister woman. You know the rules. Cut the fucking line. Oh my god. No. Please don't do this. I'll... I'll do anything. Spoken like a true member of the sex trade. No. See, I'll, I'll do whatever you want. I will, but please leave my baby alone. Please. Please! Why not take over? Can't you see? Can you hear me? Little pig. Little pig. Let me come in. Not by the hair. On my chinny chin chin. And I'll huff. And I'll puff. And I'll blow your house in!
times when they spend so damn much time in the bathroom. I mean, you, you can't all have IBS. I guess I'm just gonna have to bash this door down and find out. You hear me? Hey, ah! that bitch! He's got work to do. I told you how beautiful you are. Yeah, every chance you get. <laughs> <laughs> Not so much right now. Oh, I'm a mess. <clears throat> Do you want to stop? <laughs> Do you want something to drink? What do you have? Um. I have water. <laughs> oh, that's a tempting choice. Um, um, there's probably beer left and milk, but it's 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 old. I can I can make hot tea. Yeah. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> this should be interesting. <laughs> um, hot tea okay. sounds good. Okay. okay. You want to know why I'm doing this? You want to know why I'm doing this? I can sum it up with one word. Do a little searching in that pretty little head of I know every inch of your body. All you're going to do is scare me. You were talking about going to that movie, right? Yeah. What was it? The new thriller I mentioned the other day. David Fincher, right? Yeah. What's wrong? What just happened? You're not done. That will count as a hang-up. Hey, where is she? Spend the night? No. 
thank you, but I'm fine. I bet you help you make that available on your own. You're not lying to me, are you? You know how I feel about the destiny of liars and lies. All the blinds stay open. Do you think it's right to manipulate people to get with That was all of your boyfriends, right? I think there's one more. Well, now I'm playing a game with you. How do you like it? I don't, okay? I feel used. I feel abused. I feel miserable. Does that Are you satisfied? Not even close. I have a lot of free time. If somebody else would, I don't know, maybe go back out with me, I could give this all up. We have disturbing news to report to you this Valentine's Day morning. The police have released a photo of a woman slain and left at the entrance of a licensing building. They will not release the name at this time of the victim as it is an ongoing investigation. The detectives are still surveying the gruesome crime scene of what many are calling a vestibule of terror. So what's it going to be?